I'm a dermatologist. Here are common reasons why you're losing your hair, part two. Let's talk about genetics. When grandma said back in the day that the hair loss gene is passed down through the mother's side, that is completely false. These genes are passed down from both mother and father's side. And for men, we manifest androgenetic alopecia due to genetics where our hair follicles miniaturize over time. Starting at age 20, 25, we get a receding hairline, especially at these temporal peaks. We get decreased density at the top of the scalp. So women will have a different presentation from men. They'll see the hair part being more visible and decreased density throughout the scalp. So getting into hormones, we see a lot of PCOS in women, polycystic ovary syndrome, where you're gonna get different skin manifestations like jawline, lower half of the face acne that can be quite cystic and even scarring, unwanted facial hair and hair loss like this. And so talk to your dermatologist about different options like spironolactone and birth control pills. And then when we're talking about hormones, it's, it's not just androgen hormones that can cause hair loss. We also have to mention increased thyroid or low thyroid states. And also most importantly, postpartum, where you're having huge shifts in hormones postpartum, you can have hair loss for up to six to nine months, but thankfully that's not permanent and it is reversible. Hope this helps, peace.